It has not been a good week for John Jones leading into UFC 309. I feel like the more media he's doing, the more the fans are turning on him and not buying his excuses when it comes to not wanting to fight Tom Aspinall next. My name is James Lynch. If you've watched this channel, I've been pretty, uh, you know, much on John's side about the whole Aspinall thing because, you know, I think what people need to realize is that John has had a very decorated career at 205. He went up to heavyweight to win the title. He just wanted this one fight with Stipe and then wanted to ride off into the sunset. I didn't see it as being such a big deal. Um, but the fact that he keeps going on about Aspinall, I think is just making things worse and worse. So the latest thing that John has said is basically that he, uh, well, he calls Tom an a-hole. And I'd love to play the clip here, but YouTube will demonetize me for, um, you know, him using the A-word. But uh, I, th I think this is uh, just a really bad excuse for him not wanting to fight Tom. So basically, uh, Jones right now is saying that he does not want to fight Tom Aspinall because Tom has been disrespectful and his fans have been disrespectful. That's a really, really bad excuse. Here's how John could have saved himself a lot of heartache and a lot of, you know, breaking heart, so to speak, is if he just would have said, look, this is my last fight. I'm going to retire. That's it. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to prove anything else. I had a great career at 205. I won the heavyweight, the inter, the heavyweight title against Cyril Gaon, and then, you know, I defeated the, you know, longtime champion, Stipe Miocic. I'm going to ride off into the sunset. That's it. That's all he had to say. He could have just left it at that and said, you know, unfortunately for Tom, I'm just ready to hang it up. He could have said that. And guess what? He could have retired and then come back later. And no one would really complain that much because, you know, MMA retirements don't last too long. But John is going out of his way now to saying, giving all these reasons of why Aspinall does not deserve a shot at him. And none of them are passing the smell test, so to speak, you know, and, and, the, and, and it almost annoys me what Jones is doing because like he's almost treating the media and, you know, the MMA fans in general as just being kind of stupid as if we don't know what Tom, Tom Aspinall is all about i like i don't get the argument here i mean you look at aspinall's resume he's won every fight and he has you know performed well the only guys he hasn't fought at heavyweight right now are cyril gone and gone's got to win that fight against volkov if we want to get that fight and then um jalen almeida like if you look at the rankings right now tom has pretty much beat everyone he's fought or he's, he has beat everyone he's fought minus the blades fight that was more of an injury though than a loss but like, what more does he need to do at heavyweight? Like who else, what's another intriguing fight? What's one step that Tom Aspinall didn't take at heavyweight that he needs to do to fight Jones? Like, I don't get that at all. So this idea that Tom's not worthy, that that doesn't, I don't buy it. Like if you're fighting who you're fighting and you're finishing everyone impressively, like what more do you need to do? So like, the you know, as far as like the merit thing, that's completely out the window. And like I said, if John wanted to, you know, call it a career after this. I think that he's completely, completely within his right to do it. He's getting close to 40, but um, to say that Aspinall doesn't deserve it or now that he's disrespectful to me is all made up. Like Aspinall's not a guy like Colby or some of these guys that goes online all the time and says things that's really disrespectful. Like I think you could find a lot more disrespectful things from fighters than anything that Tom said. Like correct me if I'm wrong in the comments guys, but I don't remember Tom saying anything like, and there's a lot of, he could say on John Jones, talk about John Jones outside the cage is issues with, all types of things. You saw it. I mean, you name it. John's got a whole list of things that Tom could go after. And I'm sure he's brought up some of that stuff, but none of it has been disrespectful in the way that John is making it out. Like he doesn't deserve it. Like here's, here's a better example. Dustin Poirier does not want to fight Colby Covington because of the things that Colby has said about Poirier's family. I respect that. And I totally get that. And he doesn't want to give Colby an opportunity to, you know, talk badly about his family and give him that platform. This isn't the case here. Tom has not said anything close to being disrespectful or anything bad. So John's just making up excuses. And then the thing that I don't even have listed here is he says in an interview with Aaron Bronsetter that he'd be interested in vacating the heavyweight title and fighting Alex Pereira for the BMF belt. What? So you want to fight, you want to continue fighting, but you don't want to fight Aspinall. That makes no sense. Again, if Jones just would have said, I'm going to fight and then retire. No one's going to have an issue. The heavyweight division can move on. But the fact that he's now talking about fighting Pereira, and I, I still have my doubts, guys. I'll be completely honest in this video, and I've been very firm on this. I don't think Jones fights after Saturday. I think he's done. Um, you know, I, I, I think he rides off to the sunset. I think Jones is very much aware of how good his career is. And I don't think he wants to have anything close to like a blemish on it. I know technically he's lost to Matt Hamill, but you know what I mean? Like Jones wants to keep that aura of being this, you know, amazing fighter. And I think him calling out Pereira kind of looks like a bit of a cop out because we know Pereira as great as he is. He hasn't fought at heavyweight. Pereira has not had any success at heavyweight because he hasn't fought in the weight class. I think John looks at that fight and says, I could take him down and submit him. So to me, it looks like you rather would have an easier fight to some degree because, you know, I know people will disagree with me on this. Tom Aspinall is a harder fight at heavyweight than Alex Pereira. 
I mean, we can debate that later in the comments if you guys want, but like, I think Pereira moving up is an easier situation for Jones than for a BMF title. Like why, why not just defend your real title? Why does it have to be a BMF title? And then the other name he threw out there, if you guys caught this as well is Jamal Hill. And, and John's excuse basically is like, oh, well, I only want to fight guys that are my size. Hill being a lay heavyweight, Pereira being a lay heavyweight. I mean, Tom Aspinall's not that much bigger than John Jones. If you look at it here, Tom Aspinall is, they don't have his, uh, where is it? Six foot five with a 78 inch reach. John Jones, I want to say six four, six three maybe. He is six four with an 84.5 inch reach. He's got a longer reach than Aspinall. So what's he talking about that he wants to find guys his own size? Aspinall is less of a reach. So again, all these things that Jones is saying, I just don't think adds up. Um, it does look like he does not want to fight him. And you guys know I'm very much not about fighter bashing. I, I get really annoyed when people say things like fraud check or a fighter's ducking. I mean, I don't know what else you can call this at this point about him not wanting to fight Aspinall. I mean, it certainly looks like, like, like ducking. Not that he has to fight anyone after this. Like I said, he could just retire. But... He's making, he's saying a lot of things that really are, if you translate it, means he doesn't want to fight Aspinall because my opinion is, I think he knows he'd lose. And I think if they fought right now, I probably would favor Tom Aspinall in that fight. And I know, again, there's going to be people blowing back on that, but I mean, Aspinall's proven it a heavyweight. He's got knockout power. He's got a great ground game. Like where's the weakness in Tom Aspinall? He's been very successful. So yeah, again, I think this whole thing is just a terrible look like John would have also been better if he would have said, I don't want to talk about Tom Aspinall. I'm not fighting him. Why not just do that? Fans and media would be pissed off about it, but then you're not making up more excuses as to why you can't take this fight. I don't know, man. Like, this is just, like, I like John. Like I said, the first UFC event I ever covered as a member of the media was Jones and Gustafson in Toronto. I have a lot of respect for John Jones, the fighter, the person outside the cage. It's a totally different story, but um, this is just such a bad look. And I feel like, do you not want people to buy this pay-per-view? Because like, it almost makes it look that way. He's basically making it out like, I, I don't know, like that, that Aspinall's not worthy. And it just like, I, I, I don't, I mean, I do get it. Cause I think deep down, he doesn't want to fight him. And I don't think it has to do with being disrespectful or the size or any of that. I just think it, it's, it's one of these things where John is really going out of his way to preserve his legacy. And I think fans see right through that. Like I said, it would have been much easier for him if he would have just said, Hey, you know what? This is my last fight, you know, credit to Tom. Um, but you know, our past won't cross. That's it. But now he's talking about fighting Pereira and Jamal Hill. And it's like, what? Like, this doesn't even make any sense, you know? So I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I, I, I mean, I'm still going to stick with my guns that I don't think Jones fights after Saturday. I think he's done. He rides off into the sunset, but with all this talk of other things going on, like, I don't think anything's off the table at this point. And you know, the UFC loves Pereira. Like, you know, I've said this before. Pereira's got to fight Ankoliev. Then we can start talking about him at heavyweight, but I mean, if John Jones wants to fight you and the UFC again, because they do so many events, they need to put fun fights together. That might fit the bill as a Jones and Pereira fight. But yeah, it's just, it's honestly disappointing that Jones is taking this route because, um, and, and I don't care if John wants to be a bad guy or whatever, but I just think like, I, I think you're losing fans this way because no one's buying this. That's the biggest thing. Like you're trying to sell us something that we know isn't what you're selling. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't put it past MMA fans. They're smart. There's a lot smarter than you're giving it credit for. So uh, that's my take on that. And also, I know John Jones uh, refused to do an interview today uh, with TNT um, because of the whole Aspinall stuff. I'm going to do a video on that later, but I wanted to get this out first just so people know which side of the fence I'm on. John Jones, really bad look this week. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is there anyone here who thinks John's in the right? I don't think there's going to be many, but please, let's discuss this. I'm curious to think you're, you're hear your thoughts on the whole John Jones, Tom Aspinall thing. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. My name is James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.